published by inltv.co.uk. The Claremont Serial Killings Explosive New Book. The new explosive book that lifts the lid off who was behind the Claremont Serial Abductions, Rapes and Killings. Why they happened and why and how the Western Australian allowed them to happen. It is all exposed in the new book being published in film being produced produced called Chilling Words, Dark Side of the Claremont Murders. The book making public for the first time the facts, information and legal and factual analysis that neither the Western Australian police, the Western Australian government, the Director of Public Prosecutions for Western Australia, Supreme Court Justice Stephen Hall, or even the defense team for Bradley Robert Edwards wanted to hear about, read or know about before or during the long six months trial of Bradley Robert Edwards. INLTV is easy to find hard to leave. Email login link for inltv.co.uk. Well, it was pretty frightening. I mean, I, this afternoon I was at a party at 2 o'clock and someone was speaking to someone on the mobile phone and said, my God, another girl's gone missing. And the whole atmosphere of the room was like, oh my God, it was pretty scary. You just don't think it's going to happen in such a small city? Because it was like, you know, it could have been you. Good evening. Claremont serial killer Bradley Edwards is likely to die behind bars for terrorising our city for almost a decade. The suburban stepfather was sentenced to life in prison with a minimum 40 years, closing a dark chapter in the state's history. Jacqueline Robson is at Casuarina Prison tonight. Jackie, it's been a long time coming. Michael Bradley Edwards avoided WA's harshest penalty of life without parole, but this comes close. The longest minimum sentence of any crime in the state's history. The police commissioner says he hopes Edwards is never released and his jailing today means the community is now safe from a killer and a sadistic rapist. Families making their last painful journeys to court for their daughters and sisters for justice. Applause erupted as an expressionless Bradley Robert Edwards was sentenced to life. The judge, though, stopping short of the prosecution's request for him to never be released. I am satisfied that there is another outcome that would meet those interests. That outcome is to impose life sentences with a very long minimum term. Long, as in 40 years, meaning the 52-year-old won't be allowed to try for parole until he's 88. There is a high likelihood that you will die in prison. Die after a sad, deprived and confined existence, but nothing equal to stealing the lives of Jane Rimmer and Kira Glennon and destroying two more in brutal sex attacks, described by the judge as a predator who sought out vulnerable young women for his own sexual gratification. By your actions, you not only robbed them of their lives, but their hopes, their dreams and the dreams of others for them. Jenny Rimmer's dream was of her daughter marrying, having children and being a wonderful mother. Her powerful victim impact statement also revealing, my husband was shattered. He died 14 years ago from cancer. I believe the grief and trauma of losing Jane made him susceptible. He never got to know what happened to his daughter. Cruelly, Don Spears didn't have the chance to speak his mind. His 18-year-old daughter, Sarah, the first to disappear, but her body never found and not enough evidence to convict. The quest for justice for Sarah will continue. Edged into WA history is the mid-90s when Jane Rimmer and Kira Glennon were snatched from Claremont streets during nights out, their necks slashed as they fought for life. Kira's desperate battle ultimately leading to her killer's conviction. It would take years, but DNA found under the 27-year-old's fingernails was linked to the two cold case sex attacks, then fingerprints from an assault, bringing police to Edwards in 2016. Then there were the fibres found on 
on her body as well as Jane Rimmers, matching the Telstra technician's clothing and the car he drove. This is the longest ever minimum sentence for any crime ever in Western Australian judicial history. The jailing of Edwards means the community is now safe uh, from this terrible person. His parents making a swift exit. Edwards declined to participate in a psychiatric report, leaving little insight into why he killed, why he attacked and terrorised a generation of West Australians. The theory of a marital breakdown driving him to violence abandoned during the seven-month trial, but 95 days of evidence exposing his secret stash of violent pornography, homemade sex toys, women's lingerie and writing fantasising of rape and abduction, while on the outside he was calm, polite, a suburban stepfather and little athletics coach. This ability to dissimulate may go some way to explaining how you were able to lead such an overtly unremarkable life whilst committing the offences. Ordinary, now revealed as monstrous, and tonight all but certainty he'll never hurt again. But we must never forget Sarah, Jane and Kira. Renee Henry, Nine News.